In 1952, an Air Force plane called C-124 Globemaster II crashed into a big mountain while flying from Washington to Alaska. Sadly, everyone on board, 52 people in total, didn't make it. The bad weather at the time made it hard to find the crash site, and even later, any attempts to locate it failed. But in 2012, a helicopter crew doing a training mission spotted the pieces of the crashed plane on a glacier called Colony Glacier in Alaska. They started looking for more pieces and confirmed it was indeed the missing plane. Since then, every summer for about a decade, different military groups have been helping in an operation called Colony Glacier. They've managed to identify 40 out of the 52 people whose lives were lost in the crash. The soldiers taking part in this mission take their promise seriously to never leave a fallen comrade behind. They believe it's their duty to bring back those who didn't make it. Another discovery comes from the Alps. In 1991, some hikers exploring the picturesque Alps stumbled upon a human body. It was half frozen in ice at the top of a mountain pass between Italy and Austria. At first, the local police thought it might be a mountaineering accident. But in a few weeks, archaeologists started claiming that this guy might have lived more than 5,000 years ago. They eventually gave the frozen fellow the nickname, Ertzi. He was named after the nearby Ertzel Valley. He's become quite famous as the oldest ice mummy on record. Ertzi's frozen state might not be as unique as we thought, and that's where things get really cool. Archaeologists have another theory. See, at first, everyone was convinced that Ertzi marked the start of a cooler period because he had been frozen in the ice without any interruptions since he had lost his life. Yet, over the past few decades, glaciers and ice patches worldwide have been melting away like ice cream on a hot summer day. Not just Ertzi, but other ancient relics like bodies, hunting gear, horse droppings, and even ancient skis started to appear. So. Archaeologists say there are similar sites. They found quite a few, and they all fit perfectly into this growing field of glacial archaeology. It seems like as the world warms up, it will show even more ancient secrets from the deep freeze. Moving on to another amazing discovery. In 2018, William Taylor and Nick Jarman were exploring the snowy slopes of Mongolia's Altai Mountains. They found an ancient treasure trove hidden in the ice. Inside the trove, they found a well-preserved 3,000-year-old arrow shaft adorned with ochre markings. It was in pristine condition, a rarity for organic items that old. They found other items too, like a bronze arrowhead with bits of animal sinew still attached. All of these relics had been untouched for hundreds of years, since they had been locked in the ice. In Mongolia, rising temperatures have melted ice patches that remained frozen for centuries. Similar discoveries have been made in the Yukon, US, Italy, Siberia, and Norway. Thousands of sites have been identified. Yet, scientists are racing against time to document and preserve these artifacts before they're lost forever. The study of these artifacts challenges the definition of these environments as wildernesses and shows how indigenous people coexisted with nature there. Sometimes, people find simple items too, as simple as a sandal. This one, discovered on one of central Norway's mountain passes, indicates that people used this route roughly 1,700 years ago. This suggests that there was less snow and ice in that area back then. The sandal, dating back to around 300 BCE, resembles Roman sandals of that era. Again, in Norway, hunters found an iron sword high up on a mountain, more than 5,250 feet above sea level. There's no nearby burial site, and it's puzzling why someone would have a sword in such a remote location. Archaeologists speculate that the owner might have become lost. Then, in 2011, unusual objects resembling giant slingshots began to emerge as the ice melted. Radiocarbon dating suggests that this particular object was crafted around 400 BCE. 
It measures over three feet long and has knife cuts. Those puzzled archaeologists until one team member recognized them as tang, or pliers, used to secure loads on sleds when transporting hay or leaving for animal food. People in the area used hay sleds with pliers until the 1950s, when tractors became more common. Now, let's get back in time to thousands of years ago. We can easily do that by looking at this woolly mammoth. This creature looks a bit like a cherished but slightly worn out toy. This ancient giant, whose heyday was 39,000 years ago, is the best preserved mammoth ever found. Even its signature shaggy hair is surprisingly well preserved, having been trapped in glacial ice until its recent discovery in Siberia. This remarkable animal is stepping into the limelight in Yokohama, Japan. Scientists are running tests that might bring this extinct species back to life. When they stumbled upon this female mammoth, they uncovered a hidden treasure, a sample of her blood preserved beneath the ice. So they believe this ancient blood could hold the key to resurrecting the mammoth. They also found well-preserved muscle tissue. She was between 50 and 60 years old when she met her icy fate. The discovery of mammoth blood has reignited debates about the ethics of bringing back extinct creatures, like in Jurassic Park. Their ambitious plan is to implant an egg into a living elephant for a 22-month pregnancy, hoping that at least one living mammoth cell might survive. Hop on, we're going to the French Alps! We are at a spot not far from where an Air India plane tragically crashed 46 years ago. We're accompanied by a diligent mountain rescuer and his neighbor. They went to this area after a bunch of tourists had noticed a strange-looking thingy on a glacier. It was a bag. The Indian embassy in Paris got wind of it, and it was all set on getting that bag. What makes it kind of cool is that it had diplomatic mail and Ministry of External Affairs written on it. The Air India flight was on its way from Mumbai to New York when it took a nosedive in January 1966. It took 117 people on board down with it. Guess what else was inside the bag besides the soaked diplomatic mail? It had a stack of old Indian newspapers. So, alongside those, they also found bits of the plane's cabin, a lone shoe, and a bunch of cables. Totally unexpected treasures on that mountain. During the summer of 2013, scientists stumbled upon a message left behind by a geologist named Walker, who had placed it there 44 years before. That message sort of served as the man's last testament. He passed away just a month after hiding the bottle in the rocks on the island. The content of the message was quite astounding. In 1959, Walker had measured the distance from those very stones to the glacier's edge, and it clocked in at a mere 167 feet. By 2013, that distance had ballooned to 400 feet. Researchers are convinced that this stark contrast between the two measurements underscores the consequences of ongoing global warming. Imagine the melting ice in Norway's mountains as a time machine revealing a treasure trove. Nearly 800 Viking artifacts tucked away for over a thousand years have been unearthed. They give us a peek into the bustling trade networks of the Viking era and the critical role of the mountain passes in this ancient commerce. Among the finds are leather shoes, cozy woolen mittens, stylish tunics, feathered arrowheads, horseshoes, walking sticks, and kitchen gadgets from the Viking chef's toolkit. There are even Viking pack horse souvenirs. These artifacts provide us with insights into ancient travel habits and the peak times when those paths were bustling with activity and Give us a glimpse into the lives of adventurers. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.